Yo, hello everyone. Do you need to send documents for electronic signatures? In this video, I will walk you through the steps of using DocuSign to send documents for signing, from uploading your document to specifying signing fields and recipients. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So guys, this is DocuSign a signature web website. As you may see, uh, here you will find the dashboard so here home manage team page report settings and this is like how the main page looks like now i am on the free trial there is 10 days left for my account to be suspended so let's start by creating a document first so we have to drop any kind of documents in here so first i'm gonna upload like uh, let's get a pdf file first so i'll get like a pdf file um here we go uh, like so this is like a PDF file CV uh, PDF we can search for it uh, we can download it we can do whatever we'd like for so you can choose this as an example and drop the file here here it is it has been dropped and now all you have to do is add the recipient so the person who you'd like this file to be sent to so here you can add the name so I'm gonna add my name for example my uh, my email and if you'd like to add more than one you can add it through here so you can keep adding as long as you want so here you can add needs to sign and here customize you can add access code and provide message so you can give them this both you can even give needs to sign uh, like in person signer receives a copy or need to view so here we need them to sign it then here we can add the message so here we go please make sure to sign it's for us and click then on this right button in the bottom and here is this so now they are going to show us some searching fields so no signals that they or the signed fields are detected so now we can find for example here signature click on signature and we can add here the sign so here it is sign and I'm going to add it here, same uh, save as a custom field. Here we can choose the like the things that we need and click on save. So this is will be for example area number one. That's I will need the person to sign for us. Then I will need another field. So let's start by adding a field. So this will be here. For example, we need a stamp. So add the stamp right over here. Make it as big as this and put it right here. And then if you'd like to add the date signed, make it like down below this. Here we go. And down below this one as well. So we're gonna do it both bottom this. And in case you'd like anything else from name, email company title, a text, anything that you'd like to add, make sure to add it here. And of course, if you'd like to add the drawing, which is a signature of drawing, you can even add it here. For example, drawing. And click then on send. Just like that, this file will be sent to the other person. So you've sent your first envelope. So what you can do is check your email, for example. Now I have sent it to me. So this is how it's going to look like. Review documents. And this is the document that I have received. So... Please make sure to sign it for us. Please review and ask to those documents. So continue. Here I will have to add the stamp. So require stamp. Here we go. I have added one. Here a signature. Uh, it is mine. As you can see, you saved. And here we can add the draw. So draw anything you have in mind. And click on save. And here it is. So it is very easy to use. And for the dates that has been signed in, it will be automatically added by the website itself. So you don't have to bother yourself writing it or typing it into the documents, which is pretty good thing for you to save time. And once you're finished, you can click on finish. Here we go. I have finished everything. And here we go. Now it will be sent back to me. And here we can go to DocuSign, you can go to reports, and here you will find the last report. So here we have sent one we have one envelope. So let's go to this envelope and you can click on envelope report. We can view here and you will find everything. So run reports and this is the file completed and it has been uh, sent. So you can here download it. 
envelope parts if you'd like and in case you'd like to manage the things that you have so this one is completed you can see here and find it you can print it see it as you can see so everything is literally sent to you in details uh, you can even download it as you might see here download and here it is they have given me both a summary and example of the CV so here it is this is like a summary this is like the signature that I have made this is the stamp and this is the date the IP literally everything and this is like the CV which has been uh, signed so here it is so this is very very useful tool in your future business contract or something like that you can't really sign it by yourself you can actually use DocuSign to send people to sign your documents or to sign them by yourself and send them to the other person and as I said guys this is really good and let's try it for example with other thing like another template so let's search for example PDF contract file example so here it is and now what I'm going to do is go to this website and let's download any kind of format so I'm going to download this format here it is it has been downloaded so let's start now drop in the file open this one and drop this file here so error upload and student behavior that the PDF the requested file cannot be read typically due to a permission problem that I have correct after reference to a file was acquired. So let's try with another one, even though I don't think there is a problem with it. If I open it, yeah, there I mean there is some a lot of blank spots and it has to be unwritten. That's why. It has to be unwritten uh, PDF. So let's check with another thing here probably I think most of these are not going to work they have to be an image so this is number rule number one to go for so the picture or the contract has to be an image not a PDF file um, I don't know if the business will be will, will work yep either this one was it's not gonna work and for the for you to know which kind of files are gonna work just for example try to copy this one let's save it and if you drop it here they will show you the supported format so they support doc doccm doc cx dot dot tm docs tx stm html and much more so all these files are actually supported by them so just drag it here and I guess this one has worked successfully so let's go for it add recipients it will be me as I said and here let's go to customize uh, needs to sign and then next and here we go so the same thing goes for this one as well so here I want here the signature to be both so here sign here sign and here will be the date and here will be the second date if there is any stamp to add it can be here and here you can add some text fields so here text one text two uh, text three so you can add all the kind of text it can be time consuming to add for each this one but yeah this is what you have to deal with for now since it is pretty like not really something hard to do it is pretty easy so here text 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 you have to go through all of these texts here if there is anything to add here the day month year and finally you have to click on send and it will be sent the same way that we did with the first pdf file that we have sent so it is quite easy to do so and yeah guys that was completely it for this video thanks a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial